Hi everyone, it's Sandy Lamian, and welcome to day two of the 50 Days Before 50 journey. I have to tell you, I was looking over all the comments on the site, and I am just amazed at how quickly everyone seems to be connecting so very deeply with this material. And I also want to share this with you. I've, I've been up since 4.30 this morning, and what was coming to me was that through each of these videos, through the writing that I'm getting, um, and through you doing the exercises, there is going to be a download of divine energy through this whole entire journey. Um, so what that might mean for you is, as you're reading what's on this website, as you're watching the videos, as you're doing your writing exercises, you might feel a little buzzing through you, a um, little moving of energy through you. It's all good. This 50-day journey, what I was told this morning, is going to help every single one of us raise the frequency of our energy vibration. Putting in layman's terms, when you raise your energy vibration, you start attracting in a higher and greater good into your life. So it's all good. It's a bonus that I wasn't even, I had no idea about, but when God told me this morning, I couldn't wait to share it with you. The other thing that was shared with me was this. The word hero, H-E-R-O, stands for helping everyone remember oneness. Isn't that cool? So think about it. If we're all being asked to look for the hero within ourselves, we're being asked to remember oneness. And what that means is remembering the oneness of all parts of us, the parts of us that we've maybe discarded because we were ashamed of them or frightened by them. This journey is also going to be about bringing all of those parts of yourself back home so that you can feel the oneness, you can feel your own inner hero. And then when we show up in the world like that, we automatically um, encourage others to do the same for their life. So... Um, this is this is what else that came through. That there are two places that you can hear your inner voice from. The head or the heart. And there's a huge difference. When you listen to the voice that's in your head, um, that's the voice that's going to sound whiny, naggy, critical. It's the voice that will tell you, oh, I should go to the gym today, or I shouldn't eat that, or I can't believe what an idiot I said that and nobody laughed, or um, I shouldn't have said that. You know what I'm talking about, right? You're nodding your head, right? The voice of your heart is going to sound very, very different. The voice of your heart is going to sound loving, encouraging, nurturing. It has a softness to it. It is never, it's never critical. It's never judgmental. So just keep that in mind as we go through this journey. The voice that's in your head, and there's also a voice in your heart. And as we go through the journey, we're going to start making a real distinction on which voice, you know, where is it coming from and which voice am I listening to and how can I cultivate more of the um, awareness of the voice that's in my heart. The head is going to be the collection of all those people in your life and perhaps all of their belief systems that you bought into and then you made it be like your own story. So again, we're going to be shifting as time goes on. Because what's Truth is what's in your heart. Let me say that again. What's true is what's in your heart. All this stuff in your head is just crap. So, let me um, share with you my writing with God this morning. God, what keeps us from knowing that hero energy within us? Because that energy is so powerful. This is what God said. Little one. It's usually just distraction of noticing external events and placing, placing one's focus over there. The hero exists even when life gets confusing. The hero exists even while emotions are painful. The hero exists even when one is unaware that it's there. The hero sits and waits to be remembered. And... When it is remembered, magical things happen. A shift happens from pain to more peace. One begins to remember that nothing is bigger than the hero within. Because the hero within is divine. And please remember, you need to look inside your heart 
to connect with that hero within. Show them how, little one. So I said, thank you, God. It's my honor. So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to take you through a meditation where I'm going to help you to connect with your heart and we're going to connect with the energy of your hero within. Okay? So make sure you're in a quiet environment. It's not going to take long, maybe not even five minutes. And what I want you to do is to take a nice deep breath in. And just as you exhale, just allow your body to softly let go. And you can allow your eyes to close. And take another deep breath in. And exhale. Good. One more deep breath in. And exhale and just relax. And I want you to place your hand on your heart. And as you have your hand on your heart, I want you to just know that the energy of the hero is within you. It's already there. You don't need to go out and find it. You don't need to beg for it. You don't need to be worthy of it. It's already there. And I want you to just hold in a sort of wondering. I wonder what that hero energy would feel like. I wonder what that hero within me would look like. What would that hero within me look like? There's no right or wrong here. I wonder how this hero within me would show up for life. How would it speak? How would it hold itself? Just be with this. Some of you might be feeling this. Some of you might be hearing it. Some of you might be getting some thought pictures. And some of you might just be in a quiet state of knowing. It's all okay. Next, I want you to hold the thought of, I wonder what this hero within me wants me to know at this point in my life. As you're sitting in this quiet, allow yourself to listen. What does this hero within you want you to know at this moment in your life? Feel its strength, feel its wisdom, feel its courage, feel its love. Good. Take a deep breath in and bring yourself back. And I want you to know that you can go through this meditation at any time you want to. Just go back to day two and you can watch the video again. This meditation will be here for you anytime you want to reconnect with it. And you might hear a different message from the hero every single time. Good for you. Feels good, doesn't it? Just to connect to that place in your heart. It's just a, I love being in that place. It's just such a softness and an openness and a, um, God, just such a connection to all that is. What I'm going to ask you to do is, um, if you want to, Post your comments down below on what the hero within you wanted you to know. This is what I find in all the groups that I do whenever we go through a sharing process, that quite often the message that you get for you is not just for you, that it's for a lot of other people in the group. And what I'm feeling is there's such an energy, there's such a synergy with this whole group of us that are going through this together. So I would 
strongly urge you, um, if you feel called in your heart, to share what the hero within you wanted you to know. Chances are somebody else in this group needs to hear it. So you guys are so awesome. Um, I am so proud of you all. I applaud you for taking this time for yourself. And um, I will see you tomorrow. And remember, I am you, you are me, and we are one. I love you.